What's up guys, Chenzo here. So a while back I picked up the original Yakima Gatekeeper tailgate pad. I used it and gave it a positive review. However, after about a year or so, these Velcro straps were worn out and pretty much useless. Luckily Yakima warrantied that pad and sent me out their new and improved Gatekeeper that completely solves the strap issue and adds a few minor upgrades. So in this video, we'll take a look at the new Gatekeeper and I'll tell you how it's been working out for me over the last six months. Also, if you've got an older version Gatekeeper, I highly recommend you give Yakima a call. The warranty process was super easy. I didn't pay a dime and I didn't have to ship the old tailgate pad back. So out with the old and in with the new. So with that out of the way, let's take a look at the new and improved Yakima Gatekeeper. All right, so right out of the box, I'm noticing one difference. This Yakima logo, which used to be red, is now gray, which I ain't too mad about. This big flap is still here. It's still secured by Velcro, but it's reinforced with a couple of extra buttons. That's a pretty good look. Three thick nylon straps, still secured to the tailgate. That's a good look as well. And the real upgrade comes in the form of these straps here that are no longer Velcro but they instead secure with the J-hook. So I'll show you what I mean. So the installation is the same as most pads out there. You just pop it on your tailgate and run the nylon straps underneath and secure them to the plastic buckles on the other side. This pad has a strip of thin, stiff plastic on the end of each strap to make the process a bit easier. One thing worth mentioning is that now these straps have this stiff strip included on them which kind of helps you get it under the tailgate and loop it through. It's a small upgrade that wasn't present on the previous pad. Also, if you plan to use your rear camera, be sure to fold the rear flap underneath the pad before securing it down. It can be a little tricky if you try to do it later. Next, I want to talk about fit and finish. So this one fits my 2021 Ram 1500. Good enough to be functional, but not quite perfect. The original gatekeeper fit this truck like a glove, so I was expecting this one to fit the same. Uh, first of all, we'll start out with the fit and finish, which is not quite as nice as the previous one. I remember after putting on my old one, um, I said, you know, it looked like it was made to fit this truck. Um, that's not really the case with this new one. Unfortunately, it's got some waves that never really smoothed out, and the cutout doesn't really line up perfectly with my Ram logo. However, the imperfections are only aesthetic, and it functions just fine. These cradles seem to do their job pretty well. And these straps actually are pretty convenient. They snap in and out really easily and quickly. Nice padding here. And I did a shuttle ride a few days ago. We spaced out all the bikes evenly and uh, everything worked out just fine. While this pad isn't rated for off-road use, I have taken it down a few washboard roads and some light off-road trails just to get a thorough idea of how well these S-hooks perform. And so far, so good. In the six months since I've been using this pad, I haven't had any issues with these S-hooks disengaging or coming loose. As I mentioned before, I've had this pad for about six months now, so I can only attest to its durability for the half year that I've owned it. But so far it's shown no signs of breakdown or fading, and if it's anything like its predecessor, I would expect it to withstand the elements for quite some time. While the old gatekeeper had its issues, I can definitely say it was durable. It lived on my truck full time, and withstood a beating from sun, rain, snow, and countless car washes. Before I retired it, the only wear on the actual pad body itself was a bit of fading in the logo. Hopefully this new gatekeeper will be just as resilient. So that is my review so far on the new and improved Yakima gatekeeper tailgate pad. As always, thank you guys for watching. Stay stoked and I'll see you in the next one.